Blessings, everyone. This is your host, Reverend Isabel Rivera, and this is your program, Can Do All Things in Christ. And today we have a special guest that's going to be telling us about his testimony, and that's Pastor Jarvis. Pastor Jarvis, we just want to welcome you to this program, and I'm looking forward to a great testimony. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. I know you want to tell us all about you being, how did you become a pastor? So this is your opportunity. There's a lot of people out there that are pastors, and uh, I'm sure that just like me, they want to hear from you. Okay. Uh, let me start. Uh, I was in Brazil a few, few years ago, and God, God called me. God gave me a special call. Mm -hmm. And like, like in the Old Testament, uh, God called Abraham. Mm -hmm. God told him to get out. Get out. To get out and from the, the, the village, the place he used mm -hmm. to live, mm -hmm. and go to the another place God would show him. And he didn't even know where he was going. <laughs> exactly. He just did obey what God said. Exactly. And God did the same to me. Amen. The same. <laughs> um, God started talking to me about to leave my country and prepare. God, is, uh, he said, I'm going to take you to a new land. Ah, uh, okay. I said, God, I said, I remember, I remember, I read this in the Bible, but God, I'm not Abraham. You said that to Abraham, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not Abraham. That he was saying it to you now. <laughs> is that, <laughs> exactly. And, but by the grace of God, God started working with me, and God revealed to me mm. um, a few months, few months after uh, I received a call, God told me, I'm going to take you to the United States of America. I said, wow, well, God, how, ca how can this be? How you know, I was so amazed because how, how God is going to call somebody like me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you never, you were never in the United States before? Never. No friend, no relative, nothing. Didn't know anything about the United States? Not. Well, I was so surprised when God, the Holy Spirit told me, I'm going to take you to the United States of America. What, what were you doing at the time of your calling? What? Well, uh, I was serving God in Brazil. Um, I was a uh, military and, mm -hmm. you know, s serving the, the, the community. And God told me, I had, I had, I had a, a great experience with God, a strong experience with, with the Lord in Brazil because when God called me the, the first time, God bring me to be a soldier, mm -hmm. but I didn't like I didn't like that. <laughs> I you didn't God, like being a, a soldier for no. your country. Yeah, I didn't like that because I said because we have some ideas, you know, we have some mm -hmm. ideas. We think something different one another. Mm -hmm. But in Brazil, that time the police force they was so violent. Wow, long time ago. And that's why I turned my back on them. I said, oh, I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about this, this situation. But God called me to be a police officer. Wow, I and said, that God, time and point. God, you don't love me. How you, you can call me to go to headquarters to be a... <laughs> you told him he doesn't own you? <laughs> yeah. God, how, how this can be? I don't know. I, in, my, in my heart, I, I have bad feelings about... About this, you know, mm -hmm. but God is God. When God calls oh, yes. you, when God promised to you something, He's gonna work on you, you know. And then I said, God, talk to me about this. I need, I need, a, I, need I need, I need proof. I need proof that you, that this you, is you, you calling me. And that's you calling me to be a police officer. And then God gave me a vision. God gave me a vision. I was in front of the, the, the building, the police headquarters. 
and I had a, a book in my hand, and one message, one message made clear on the on the book. The message, the message sent to me, um, I need you on this place here. Oh. I need you on this place. So you did you did you feel that he actually spoke to you? Exactly. Okay. You know the, the miracle happened because when I saw when God gave me the vision, mm -hmm. he, he spoke to me. My heart changed. My heart changed. You know the feel the bad feeling, imagination. Yeah. Because he, he, he called you, but he also changed your heart. Changed like my the heart. book of Philippians 2.13 says uh, he is the one who gives you the desire right. to do his will. So, after all, you are the community Baptist of miracles. So, so God has called you to do miracles. Exactly, exactly. And then I came to the United States and... I used to live in low mass. In Lowell. How, Lowell. Long, how long were you at Lowell Mass? Uh, about 13 years. 13 years. And 13 did you, years. you serve God there as well? Ser serving God. Um, so, so you realized that when, when God called Pastor Jarvis, when he called you, it, he was already working. You yeah. were working from the time that he called you in Brazil. Exactly. And then he gave you a calling you came to mass and then what happened after that and what what i'm trying to tell the people out there is that most of the times when god calls somebody in the bible and even when god calls us today we are working people and we work for god exactly. for jesus christ yeah exactly i was so i was so amazing you know because you were overwhelmed kind of Exactly. Why me? Why me? What? 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 <laughs> exactly. I said, God, I don't speak English. I don't <laughs> you speak, speak English now. <laughs> <laughs> no. He did to me by His grace. God, by His grace, yes. God helped me. But I said, I have no friend, no relative. How can I go this place? Yeah. yeah you... I even, I don't I don't even I don't have one dollar in, in my pocket. Uh huh. How, how can this be possible? How is this possible? But God is a, is a God of miracles. God calls, you know, God support and God sin. Yes. God definitely. is so, you know. And, and that's the question everybody has. Why? Why me? You know, and I think that everybody out there, when they get a calling from God, they react just like you. Because they don't think that can happen in my life. Exactly. And you don't know yeah. how it's going to happen, but like you just said, you didn't speak English at the time, but everybody's listening to you right now uh, speaking English perfect. <laughs> no, not perfect, but... <laughs> and, well, uh, I can I, understand you. I understand. As long as I can understand, <laughs> that's I, good enough for me. Yes. Um, but God is so amazing, God. Yeah, he's amazing God. is so God. amazing. Um, I never thought, I never thought, you know, to... To be out of, of my country in another another country, even uh, South America or country land like Brazil. But God called me to to be in the yeah. top, America. And you were okay in Brazil. You you didn't. Exactly. You were not looking for nothing. Not you know? exactly. And, and this is what happens. Usually, uh, when you get a special calling from God. You're not looking for it. Exactly. <laughs> See, that's what ha happened to Abraham. But there's one thing here that people should know, and that we should all know, um, obeying. When you obey God, and that's when he really works that's in your life. That's more important. And although, like you say, Abraham didn't know where he was going, he just Obe followed what God said. You didn't know where you were going, but you just follow what God said. And, you know, that's what takes you to the places that God wants to bring you. I, I'd like to confess I was so scared. You were scared, yeah, I was I scared bet. because how can, 
I get out from my, my, my country and fly to another strange country like America because it's different. Yes, America yes. is great. It's a great I, country, I you know. America is a great grand country, and Brazil is struggle. Brazil is struggling with uh, the financial situation. Everything. Yeah. What What was the most um, when you were scared? What were you scared of? Because uh, um, uh, America is a is a land of mm. opportunity. Yes. It's a land of dream. Your dream come true in America. It's the, the American dream. <laughs> <laughs> it is. American it's the American dream. dream. And I was scared because I said to God, God, I don't want to go to America. I don't want to go. Send another person because I prefer to, to be in my country because I am poor. I am a simple people. You, you were comfortable in your country. Exactly. <laughs> you don't like it when God <laughs> shakes you up and says, you know, you're going somewhere else. <laughs> exactly. And I, I thought like that, if I go to America, I'm going to be impressed because America has an opportunity, jobs. Yes. You know, whatever you want, you get over here. You work, yeah, you get. You got, you got to work, yes. Exactly. You know, so in Brazil, it's different. Brazil is different. In, in my mind, um, I start thinking to come to America and then be involved in, with many things, you know, material things, things uh, you, you can have working, whatever, and you put the call behind. You leave, mm. you leave the call behind. You were afraid of that. And you may go after everything else but not follow God's not calling. Exa exactly. I said, God, uh, I'm afraid to go. I'm afraid. Uh, because what you, you do for me, God, is special. It's, ve it's very important. What you do for me, I, can, I cannot leave you behind. Can I, can no I way. ask you something? Why would somebody think that? Why somebody would say, Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to leave everything behind. Do you know who would put that in your mind? Exactly. Um, yeah, like Satan would tell you many reasons why not to do it. Because he don't want you to be blessed. Exactly. Uh, uh, um, <clears throat> Paul, uh, he, he, wrote, he wrote in Colossenses, in Colossenses 3, Chapter chapter mm -hmm. one, the book of Colossians. Colossians, and, and he said, um, "Think." He said, "He said like that. Think the the things from heaven. Mm -hmm. Think our way. You know, look look up always. Always look up. Always look look up because the good thing, eternal thing, is in heaven. It's in heaven. That's right." In Lord, in Lord is, is temporary. Tempor Everything here is temporary. Yes. Exactly, but you see, but when you see, you see, you start desire. I'd like to have this. Yeah. I'd like to have that. Yeah. <laughs> because you see, the more you have, the more you want, <laughs> and, and and it's true. And you know, he's exactly. he absolutely right. And sometimes a lot of people have gotten a call from the Lord. I understand exactly what Pastor Jarvis is talking about. Um, and they come to the place where God sends you, but then rather than listening to God's calling, uh, they do their own thing. Their own thing. And yes, then they know. don't see what was the calling really about. But if, if you follow that calling and not your dreams, because sometimes we do have dreams that we want to accomplish, then you can really be blessed. Exactly. And I struggle with God. God send another person. I'm not. I'm not this person who you're looking for. Send another person. That's the real calling. You know, I I must tell you, the real calling is when you don't feel capable. When you say like Moses did. Moses. <laughs> I, I I can't talk. You know, and, and most of the times that's what happens when people get a real calling. If they're, they're not willing to do it. But then there are other people who do not have calling. I want to go out. I'm the person for the job. So we, we have to be, you know, careful that 
it, we do obey because right. you didn't know you, but you were willing to follow his voice. Yeah, exactly. But God has a big plan for my life in America. I didn't know Amen. that. I didn't know that. Um, I am I'm in America, me and my family, we are here about almost 30 years. Almost 20 years? 30. 30. Almost 30 years, uh -huh. but walk straight with the Lord. Yes. In, yes. in Massachusetts, we, we open several churches. Mm -hmm. We work with the group preaching, preaching the good news, mm -hmm. preaching the hope, preaching, you know, God had a... A promised land for and how, us. And how long did you stay in Mass? 13. 13? 13, yeah. And we went to Peabody, Peabody, Hyundai, Martha's Venus, Boston, so all, over, all over Mass. All over preaching. So now he's sending you to New Hampshire. And then, <laughs> but I, I wasn't, uh, what's so amazed, that's, I wasn't, I wasn't pastor. Oh, when, you when, uh, when you we, were we, a lay person. Exactly. And then God called me in to come to Nashville. I said, God, why me? So you mean all the time that you were preaching here, preaching there, you was not ordained yet? No. Oh, okay, I see. You no. Were, you were late person. Even Brazil, yeah, exactly. Even Brazil, when God called me to be a police officer, mm -hmm. I had no... You were not ordained or no. installed anywhere. You were just doing what you felt that the Holy as, Spirit was as, guiding as, you to do. Exactly. 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 Yes. And then um, what uh, I'm feeling about uh, God honor me. Yes. Because wherever I go mm -hmm. in, in, in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. everybody knows me. Yes. Everybody knows me, my family. Our ministry, God gave us because we work, you know, we work, uh, we do everything by the love. That's right. By the love of God. We, we help people, you know. We, we find people down. We find people at the end of the way, but we work with them, you know, and stand up, stand up. God yeah, loves God, you. God honors you. And he sees your work. He sees your dedication. He sees your hard-working man, and you're working for the kingdom. Even the though kingdom. You, you don't feel that you were ordained and you were not installed anywhere, you were born to do that. It was exactly. Exactly. Um, and then uh, we, were, we were working in, in Massachusetts, in Martha's Venus. We, have, we mm -hmm. established church there. And then God told me, I received a call from Nashville. On that time, uh, we had a few Brazilians mm -hmm. living in Nashville. And one family always called me and called me, me and my wife to come to, to counseling, to talk to them, you know, to, to help them because yeah. they, they were on that time in, in difficult situation. Mm -hmm. And we come, sit down with them, and talk to, to them, read the Bible with them, and comfort them, you know, put them, stand and say, God is going to bless you. Don't fall. Keep, keep you know, keep and your you faith. And you, at that time, you did not have a church. You no. just visit from time to time. Yeah, on that time, uh, we, did, we didn't have church uh, in Nasha because our church, uh, the principal, the main church was in, in Low. In Lowell. In Lowell. But uh, I was pastor there because uh, we had a, a pastor right, there. Right, right. God you were like a member to the church in, in Mass and helped them do the preaching. A, I got gotcha. a, a member. And God surprised me one more time. God told me, this job, this job is in vain. What are you doing? I said, Lord, what which, do you mean? Which job? Which job? Came, came to Nashua and help people here, help uh, people and go back to okay, Massachusetts. Okay. God told me, it's not them. You come, sit down with them. You comfort them. You show them the way. But when you leave, they stay alone. 
you need to do something more concrete, something more re you real. You need to do more than just come and... Is, uh, God told me, open the door. You need, you need to open the door here. To, you know, to work with these people. And then God said, I want you to go in, to be in Asia. I said, God. You questioned God again. Again. <laughs> but no Brazilian. <laughs> no Brazilian. Hey, I don't speak English very well. Mm -hmm. That time. No Brazilian here. Hey, I said, God, Boston. We have oh, a million. I, my, I dream was, my dream was there. You were like, like Philip when, <laughs> when God called Philip from Samaria to go to the desert this for is, the Ethiopian. Exactly. And there was nobody there, but no. he obeyed. Uh, you know, he was having a lot of fun. They're baptizing a lot of people. A lot so, of people. So you were saying, there's no Brazilian here, but there's a lot where I'm at. <laughs> exactly. But see, that's what happens when God called you. He, he wants to test you, too. If, if you're willing to work with one person, and then you, you have it made. And God, he starts working with me, shows me, you know, the reason I should come mm -hmm, to Nashville. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, I start praying about God. Show me, show me. Yeah, you, you have give, to pray. Yeah, give me, give me confirmation, give me something. Something real, something yeah. real. You know, that, 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 that proves that <laughs> you, you call, you're calling me. Because sometimes we think in, in our mind. Yeah, yeah. We think it's God is speaking to us, but it's, it's not. not. It's yes. not. I see what you're coming from. Yes. You, know, you have to, you have to, to test, to yeah. prove, to you, ask you know, God, sign. And, and, and I want to say, I want to talk to the people out there at, that this is something that you have to really think about because... It's not only saying I got a calling. In order for us to know that we really have a calling, we have to pray to get confirmation from God. Exactly. Like what you just said you did. Because, you know, it's not God all the time. It's not. It's us who want to do something. But when the call comes from God, you can know and you can be positive because you're praying. And because you're praying... That's how you know that the confirmation is going to come. We need, we, we, we need, we need the, the confirmation. Yeah, we need that prayer in there prayer. to get the confirmation. Is that exactly? And then God, God proved, God gave me the confirmation. God, made, God gave me the confirmation. How how God gave me? Yeah, that's the that's the question. How did you? Um, feel that this is the confirmation that God is giving me. God, God called my pastor, mm -hmm. and God talked to him. Pastor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you bless, bless my servant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's the way to go. <laughs> and he had given it to you first. And see, this is important. I, I want to point something out. <laughs> Uh, this is very important. I think this is the most important thing. God is tremendous. Thing. God gave him uh, the vision, the calling, but not only that. He also gave his pastor the vision as well to make the confirmation. Mm -hmm. Because, see, sometimes people say, God called me. Uh, e even when we're pastors, people in our congregation say, I got a calling. But why God hasn't told me? I'm your pastor. <laughs> You know, usually that's what God did to um, Abraham. Abraham. You know, he, he says, you know, you're my friend. Why wouldn't I tell my friend what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't mm -hmm. he tell you, pastor out there, about someone who's in your congregation or someone who may not be in your congregation and might just come and tell you, you know, God sent me here. God mm -hmm. didn't tell me nobody was coming. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's exactly how God works. Confirmation. God told me, I'm going to bless you and I'm going to send you to Nashua. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, I have to see this. I have to see. So you, you kind of had a, a little bit of uh, doubt. Uh, no, not, not doubt, but uh, you, you I was have afraid. To see it. I was afraid, Pastor. I see. 
yeah. let, let me explain. I don't, I don't see me able to be in front of people, a bunch of people. Everybody look at me. You, what do you think they're doing expecting, right now? Expecting something. Expect I, I, I'm saying something to them yeah. from God. But Pastor Jarvis, what do you think you're doing right now? <laughs> you, you know how many <laughs> people are looking at you? They're going to go I online. They're going to do um, accessnashua.org. Access and, <laughs> and everybody's going to be able to see what's going on. You know, if they want to watch you again, they're going to watch you again and again. And, and this is worldwide, you know, whoever have access to Internet. Exactly. So stuff, you mm -hmm. think that um, speaking in public is only into a congregation. Uh, You're speaking to the whole world. Whole world, uh, yeah, exactly. Television, no, 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 Internet, I rely radio. I... So you see, we don't think um, the way God thinks. Exactly. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. we think, Perfect. but God thinks different than we do. Mm -hmm. We want... But God knows what he wants for us. And his thought is better than, than us. Yes, better than you our know, thoughts, we're, you we're, know? Getting, we're getting close to the yeah, end of the yeah. uh, program. Let, let I want to ask you some things before. Let me finish. The, 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 the pastor just. Mm -hmm. The pastor, pastor. My pastor, he came to me and told yeah. me, God told me. God, need, God wants you to be in that. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction? I said, Pastor, but God does, doesn't. God doesn't say this to me. You, you How? still. <laughs> yeah, I still. But he, he loves me. My pastor loves me. Job, I'm going to help you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to fast yeah. in your favor because God told me. I said, Pastor, but if God told you, God should told me too. But he did tell you. Yeah, but I was, I, I had a doubt. You know? I, I was afraid to be a pastor and yeah. something like that because. And you were like still saying, I don't know, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. But God, the confirmation comes because my pastor, he's a man of God, he's yes, very he, humble. He, he, very, he sounds like he is. Very humble. Very, very few people will humble to exactly. God and do his he will. He blessed me, he blessed me in 1994 with the ordination. Mm -hmm. I was ordained in, in Massachusetts. And then uh, I, I'm, my ordination was uh, July 30, mm -hmm. and I moved, I, we come to, to July 30 of what year? 1994. 1994. 1994. So God finally did what he said he would do. <laughs> <laughs> you believe it now? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, sure. How long have you been pastoring that since then? It's been a long time since long 19, time, 19 long years. Time. 19 years. 19 years. And I thank God. Now, has I'm he proud. failed you? I'm the question is has he failed you? God? Has God failed you? Oh. Was he good to you? So amazing. 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 Because God always puts you on high. He puts Always, you on top, right. he puts you on the top. I'm thinking uh, like that. Uh, you see, a um, lot of people around you, famous people, pe people important. Red carpet people. Exactly. <laughs> but Hollywood. many of them, but many of them, they don't know the Lord. No. Yet, they don't know the Lord. They're really not as famous as they think they are. Exactly. Because they're missing out on one. A uh, special gift, and it's the gift of having God in your heart. It's the gift of having a that's calling the, that's the best. directly to your heart, straight from upstairs, the man upstairs who's called God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He gave his only son for you and I. It's a good God. I want to say God. to Pastor Jarvis today, how did that calling affect your life today? The calling. What I what I feeling now? Um, I have a long way to go. You still have a long way to go. I, sh I still have a long way to go, because on the beginning, my heart, my heart pumping for America to help America to bless America. But now God gave me a big vision. You know, to to create uh, one organization, organization to help people, 
you know, mm -hmm. to feed them, to feed them, to, to shelter them, you know, whatever to they need. To shelter need. them and whatever feed they, them and exactly. uh, cry with them, cry, laugh uh, with them, exactly. suffer with them. Exactly. You know, uh, like I always say, being a pastor is not just opening up your Bible no, and no. say everything will be okay, God loves you, but you got to get your hands dirty. You got to really help the person and you have to be able I to God, do something. I ask God to, to give me opportunity to build something to help people that, like, like that. I'm going on the street. Mm -hmm. whatever, whatever person I find on the street, I, I, I ask God to, to make me able to have a place right. to share with these people. And he will give you that place. And uh, this is so wonderful, the, the testimony that Pastor Jarvis um, unfortunately, we, we don't have much more time, and I am just so glad that I want to thank you for being oh, my here. Pleasure. And my pleasure. 19 years obviously is, hasn't been enough for all the more to come things that God wants for you. But I want to tell you that um, just like God gave you what He has given you, the 19 years of serving Him, He will accomplish everything else for you. And we would just Amen. have to continue to be humble to his calling. And for those people out there who have a calling, you, you must be humble. You know, you must be wise as well and get the wisdom from the Lord. I just Amen. want to say thank you, uh, Pastor Jarvis, for, for being here and sharing that great testimony because it really opens up people's hearts out there. And in your mind, the way you think is not the way God thinks. No. So thank you very much for being here today. And That's my, we just the love pleasure having is you. mine. I thank you for, for inviting me. And God, keep his blessing on your, your Amen. life, thank your you. ministry. May thank you for the opportunity. Amen. May he also name. bless you abundantly. I just want to say, you know, we have no more time. I want to bless all of you and say, continue to watch Can Do All Things in Christ. And, you know, you can always be our next special guest. All you have to do is call that number or write an email, and you can be part of this program. So I just want to say, God bless you. Never stop following God's calling. And that's why we are Can Do All Things in Christ, because that's why we can do all things with him. Amen. God bless you all. I'll see you next time. <laughs>